Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with head- Hey everyone, this week I'll review a classic fighting game from the Neo Geo library. Can Homaru defeat Isaac in single combat? Or is he gonna get gunned down? Let's find out. Right guys, this review is more of a follow up to my previous review of King of Fighters 15 I posted a few weeks ago. The person who's both bought me a copy of the game and asked me to review it once more, Sweet Sweet SNK Reviews. When the Neo Geo Collection was discounted on Xbox, he took advantage of this and asked me to review the perfected version of one of the games of his childhood. But hey, I digress, let's get on with this. As I said in my previous review of King of Fighters, Tokyo based developer SNK is one of the world's biggest fighting game developers alongside Bandai Namco and Capcom. Apart from the course Metal Slug, a side scrolling tank shooter, SNK has been responsible for the development of numerous fighting game franchises. Samurai Shodown is one of them. Now this game differs from the traditional fighting games as it is weapons based in the same vein as Soul as the Soul Calibur series. You pick a character from a roster of a grand total of 28 characters and enter the heat of battle. The actors ability scores are as follows. To kick things off, visibility gives it 7.5. There are five color combinations per character. These can be selected by pressing each one of the four face punters that's A, B, X and Y or the start button for the secret variation. So you can pick whichever color is suitable to your impairment. However, there is a major problem when playing this game. When the player has full sense of epilepsy, each and every time a character takes a hit, the screen flashes red. This can be a major problem as screen flashes can physically induce a seizure. To make matters worse, there is no way to disable them. So, although this game can be playable for a player with a visual impairment, this game can be unplayable for a player who has photosensitive epilepsy. So, if you do, please ensure that you are playing this in a well-lit environment. Next up on the battle plan, on affordability, it gave it 10. Once again, SNK takes things back to its arcade route. There is little to no spoken dialogue in this game. To be fair, it's in Japanese anyway. The subtitles are displayed on screen, so a player with a hearing impairment should be able to play this game with no issues. Next up, Mobility Games gave us Sky High 11. In the Neo Geo collection, which we used to test this game on Xbox One, the controls can be fully redefined to suit your impairment. This is extremely important in fighting games as a single frame input can bridge the gap between victory and defeat. So customizable controls are a must for all fighting games across the board. Last but certainly not least, gameplay given 9.5. First off with the negatives. There is only arcade mode available for the single player enthusiasts. But in all fighting games, it's the multiplayer is where it's at. This particular game, as part of the course for SNK fighting games, and this game has rollback netcode. To all the people in the community who are unfamiliar with robot netcoders, robot netcode is a way of dealing with poor network connection during a multiplayer match. It does so by predicting which input a player would make by memorizing your play style through machine learning in the exact same way that the um, automated copyright system YouTube uses. I know it's a controversial subject, but it needed to be said. So in summary, Samurai Shodown 5 Perfect is a real blast from the past by replicating the classic graphics from the Neo Geo days while adding in elements which is, in my opinion, essential for a fighting game. For example, rollback netcode. So if you're a first fighting game enthusiast who's in need of a fix of nostalgia, this game is highly recommended. So, and the overall score is 95%. Spartan Command in 1998. Rollout Spartan Company, 